Now, even though the snow this morning created a lot of problems for some people, others were planning ahead and taking full advantage of the winter weather. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has the story from Kissing Bridge. After the heavy lake effect bands finished dumping on places north of Buffalo, it moved through Orchard Park in Hamburg and continued southward. And we found a lot of people who were very happy that it did. I love it. You do, huh? I do. I'm excited. So the snow doesn't bother you? No, I like it. Just after 7 a.m., conditions in southern Erie County were very bad, with heavy snow and wind creating whiteout conditions. I couldn't see out my window. And uh, so that's bad around here. But when the snowfall died down, the traffic picked up to Kissing Bridge. See you, brother. Even though we had eight feet of snow in November, the weather has been inconsistent, and that has made it very difficult for skiers and snowmobilers. Other than the big blizzard, we haven't had them out at all. And even with the snow, with the wind, I, I'm sure the trails will be blown down to grass, so it's actually no fun at all. News that the East Aurora schools were closed sent the McLaughlin family racing to the slopes. They were very excited, very excited. We relied on the GPS to take us through the back the back way. And these guys came down from Ontario for some much desired snowboarding. And even though the 90 and Route 219 were closed, it was not an obstacle. I will go through anything to get here. We even found a woman who came in from Ohio. The forecast is calling for heavy lake effect snow to move back through this area later on. And for winter sports enthusiasts, that is tremendous news. This weekend's going to be great out here at Kissing Bridge. And as for all those people who are upset with the forecast. Oh, party poopers. <laughs> Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. And we